Yesterday was a wonderful openings evening of 10 days off. In case you missed it, be sure to check it out on djsounds.com. And by the way, welcome to day number two of 10 days off. In case you're wondering why I'm standing next to an image of a forest, it's because we're going to be interviewing two DJs later on who have a thing with trees and cows. Coming up in this edition of DJSounds.com, Lindstrom and Moonlight Matters. Hi Lindstrom, you've been in Belgium quite a few times now. How good is your Flemish? Not very good. I don't know anything. <laughs> it's true. You come to Ghent, I assume, quite a lot. I mean, this is not your first time uh, playing for this festival. Do you feel like at home in Ghent? Well, kind of, because it's uh, it's a really small city. Um, it reminds me a little bit of my hometown uh, in, uh, in in Norway. So it's not that far. From, it doesn't feel that far from home, really. <laughs> I want to talk to you a bit about your previous album and like the, the album that's forthcoming. Um, you had this beautiful, sexy hit with Love Sick, which we all loved and we played a lot in Belgium. I always wondered, um, did the album start with that one track? Did someone say, wow, this is such a beautiful track, you must make an album? Or was the plan to make an album in the first place? Love Sick was one of the tracks that were made after, uh, after deciding to do an album. So um, it was not this track that uh, decided that it's, it was going to be an album, but uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the track and I think it's a, it's a good track, so yeah. You and Prince Thomas, you used to be like mayonnaise and fritches. Where does he stand now in, in, in your life, in your professional life? Well, um, we are uh, still seeing each other almost every morning because his studio is like basically next door to mine and uh, we are meeting again after summer to do try to see if we can do something to, together again. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's been a long time since we've been working together. So uh, I'm really looking forward to, to that. Okay, thank you very much and good luck with your live set thank in you. about an hour. It's about 2.30 in the morning and the question is, does Moonlight matter? My guess is, Moonlight matters, doesn't it? For me it does, for sure. This is like the day of the time, the time of the day I'm getting really into it, so... But this is you getting into it? Because you're very subdued, you're very calm and quiet. Yeah, that's the quiet before the storm. Yeah? Oh, there's a storm coming? Yeah, okay, let's storm. talk about the storm in a minute. We did our best, especially for you, because we know you come from this kind of an environment. Trees and ferns and leaves. We did our best to recreate a homely environment. Thank you for that. Did, did we do a good job? Yes, perfect. I feel at home already. Because you literally live in a farm in the middle of nowhere. Yes, that's You're right. a fucking superstar DJ. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. And the question is, you live on a farm. Tell, tell us about the farm. Yeah. It's a, it's a really nice farm in the sense that I can make a lot of noise. I have a lot of space and I have cows surrounding me. So not a lot of people talking into my ear, which is really nice. <laughs> okay, getting back to the superstar DJ part. You are, and it happened like in the last year. Yeah, yeah. I've done a lot. Yeah, yeah, uh, um, I think um, probably um, the main reason that um, I've been booming is that I've done a lot of good remixes. So um, a lot of stuff that I'm doing right now has been a result of that. So um, I'm really happy. It's been a really fruitful year for me. And uh, I'm going strong. I'm traveling a lot and having a lot of fun, working with really great people. And um, that's, that's how, how it goes. Okay, let's take this back like exactly one year ago. Do you remember what you were thinking? Because you were not playing, well, you were playing in important slots, but you were kind of earlier in the evening. Do you remember what went through your mind then? Were you, did you have ambition in this direction? Did you, did you have plans, big plans for the future? Or were you content with the things, how they were? All I was thinking about is I want to conquer the world. 
One of the great things I've been able to do in the last year is go on tour in Asia, which was really uh, inspiring for me in the sense that uh, there is an open music market there and um, the vibe is new, it's like 10 years ago in Europe. And um, so it's really nice and to discover all that stuff and realize that there is still like an area to conquer. What can we look forward to? You're on in about an hour. What kind of, what kind of magic are you going to be dazzling us with? Uh, I think I'm going to step it up a notch. Um, I've been watching the crowd and I've seen a lot of people that really want to dance. So uh, I think I'm going to play a little heavier than normal and um, just try to make feet move. <laughs> Thank you. 